would say that you are, though, right? Not really, just hard rock, heavy rock, I would say. Mm -hmm. Death metal. Death metal? Death metal. Now, you're currently on the road with uh, Voivod and Soundgarden. How's it like playing with those guys? Because I know before you were on the road with Metallica. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot of difference in crowds? Yeah, kind of. Smaller crowds, Size definitely, wise. for this tour. Mm -hmm. But it's great. This bill is a really exciting bill. Okay, right now, let's take a look at your video. Why don't you guys just introduce it to the people? Here's our brand new video called Epic. Check it out. Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. Still here on Saturday night with Mike and Roddy from the band Faith No More. Now, a little bit earlier, we saw, <laughs> we saw the video for Epic. Now, did you guys choose that one for a single or? Uh, sort of, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the way it worked out. Now, the video is a lot of really. weird effects. Do you guys get some say in the makings of the videos? And yeah, we did more so in this one than we ever had. Mm -hmm. The director worked really well with us, asked us what we wanted, and pretty much gave us what we wanted. Who was the director? Was change. Ralph Zyman, the English There's guy. There's some wild effects in that video. Yeah. Does the fish live? <laughs> well, actually, we went through like about 20 or so fish because that one, well, that one looked the best, but we did like, you know, a bunch of other ones, but they just weren't going, oh, oh, enough. Mm -hmm. So they, di they all died. You had so. to find the right fish yeah. for this video. Um, you guys, congratulations. You're nominated for a Grammy. Which Thank is you. very, very cool. Are you guys excited about that? Absolutely. You're we gonna, wish we could go, but I don't think we're going to be in town for them. You're going to be on the road? Yeah. Okay. Who's going who's gonna to accept it if you win? Uh, we're thinking about having like a, a half-breed Indian go up like Marlon Brando did. Very good. Great idea. Accept the award for us. Uh huh. Now, <laughs> um, you guys, like I said before, we're on the road with Voivod and Soundgarden. When you're out there, can you see a big difference in like a Faith No More crowd or who's there to see Voivod? Or do you think that... It's pretty much the same crowd. Pretty much just weird people in general. Mm -hmm. Like, what is a Faith No More fan like? Well, like you. <laughs> okay, other than me. <laughs> um, depends, you know, you get all sorts. You get uh -huh. college kids, and you get uh, young kids, yeah. old kids, metal kids, hipsters. Old balding men. Uh huh. Have the crowds been real responsive? Yeah, to the shows? absolutely. Now, you've been, how many different cities have you been playing so far? Uh, I guess 14 we've done on this tour. Where do you find the biggest Faith No More fans? What are your favorite cities to play in? Chicago was really great. New York City was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. That was a great oh, yeah. show. Mm -hmm. Best ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was our favorite. Uh -huh. And are uh, you getting along good with the guys from Voivod and Soundgarden? Oh, yeah. Sure. Any weird tricks good on buddies. each other or something? No. Cool. We're going to come back with you guys in a little bit. Right now, we're going to get a brand new video from KISS. This is Forever. Where are these sounds coming from? Back on the Headbangers Ball, we're here with Mike and Roddy from Faith No More. Um, do you guys get to talk to a lot of the people in some of the major bands? I know um, I was over in Galveston's, Texas a couple weeks ago, and before Motley did their video, I know Tommy Lee's really into Faith No More. And do you get a lot of feedback from a lot of major bands that are really becoming fans of yours? Well... Actually, we didn't know anyone really liked our band until all these quotes came out in these magazines. And these are the people that are getting the record for free, probably, That's right? That's right. But last night we met uh, Guar. We met Guar. I saw Guar before. That was a thrill. Uh huh. That was definitely such a see Guar when they come into your town. Um, now, Roddy, you play keyboards. Yep. And um, not too often do you hear keyboards in like really heavy bands. Do you have like uh, keyboards are real, you know, dominant in a lot of the '70s bands? Do you look at them as some of your influences? Not really. I did a lot of classical piano when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Okay, we kind of touched on it before, but was it real tough playing with Metallica? Because I know in a lot of the dates you guys opened up for Metallica. Yeah. Well, they, didn't, they had a real hard time accepting keyboards, so we dressed him up in like spikes and, uh -huh. and spandex pants, and he, went, he was like the hero of the show. Did you win some That pretty family? much did it, yeah. Because I understand it's like a really tough gig to open up for Metallica. It, it was. We thought it would be a lot tougher, actually. They were really receptive. I was amazed. Mm -hmm. It went good. And you guys, from what I understand, I saw you in uh, one of the smaller clubs in L.A., and I understand some of the shows you're playing now. You guys bring a lot of weird stuff up on stage with you? Uh, sometimes. Mike has a lot of props. Like? Uh, Full-on plastic bodysuit he brings out every once in a while. Blow-up dolls. Mm. You're going to have to come to the show and see what you're yeah, talking all about. all sorts of stuff. Anyway, I want to thank you guys a lot for stopping by and look forward to seeing you at some of the shows. Right now we got a video from Shotgun Messiah. This is shot, Shout It Out. 